All right, so this is how to run Fable Explorer without the object reference null error or like wrong registry path or whatever error you encounter whenever you try to open Fable Explorer on Windows 10. Um, so it's the ShadowNet build. This uh, folder or a RAR file, there will be a RAR file in the description below. Just download it, extract it, and the, the folder should look like this. should have 11 files in it. And you want to left click the config once, it's an XML file, and then right click and then open with notepad or notepad++, whichever one you have installed. Um, it should look like this. And then use registry should be false. So you don't want to use that. Because I think that's what's causing the error. Like it can't find your registry path, I guess, with the regular Fable Explorer. And then for registry path, you don't want to mess with this because you're not even going to use the registry path. And then the thing you do want to change is the installed directory. So I have my game installed on Steam like this. Just right click it, properties, local files, browse local files. And I'm going to left click the bar at the top here just once and it'll highlight it. Right click, copy, and you paste it in here. Put the backslash like that, and do file, and then save. And you should be good to go. Um, I do have the lost chapters, but I think it works with the anniversary edition or whatever as well. But um, I'm not 100% sure. Just try it and let me know. As you can see, no error popped up. These are the things that you could edit within the game. Once you're done, just go to Actions, Save Mods, and Run Fable. And then um, if you do want to run the game through Steam, you have to make sure that Fable Explorer is closed. Sadly, I don't know any other way you can save your mods without running the game. So you do have to save the mods and run the game and then close the game. Close Shadow Net or Fable Explorer and then run the game through Steam. Um, if you don't mind that you're not playing it or running it on Steam, I guess, you can just run it through the save method, whatever, and it should still work. You don't need ShadowNet open for your mods to, like, work, I guess. Just make sure it's saved and you're good to go. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on how to use Fable Explorer with Fable on Steam. Let me know have any questions if this worked if it didn't work and i'll try to help out but uh yeah thanks for watching